tonight. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight, we've got a good AFC matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a little across the 25 to the 27. Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. They go play action. Now Mahomes out to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mahomes to throw. They'll find Smith Schuster again. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, Hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there nice first down. Drive, keep moving. Now, left side of the swing pass. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line that one unable to develop never got going a loss of a couple and it's second down they go play fake Mahomes throwing for his running back and he's got him complete and he'll go out of bounds right around the 40 seventh play of the drive forthcoming on third and eight and again, it's Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter. But that time, they were up to the challenge. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And this will remain a scoreless game. Opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Throwing Jones. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just past the 35. 
Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Forced out to his, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Anthony Jennings. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup. Bounce didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, still in the first half here, a long way to go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. And even though that's 15 yards they're going to gain, this Kansas City offensive line has got to get together and say, got to do a better job protecting our franchise quarterback. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he will take it on. For a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at that. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Checo, a touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. New England 
and try to get a place on offense. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. Jones throw here, taken in by Parker. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. To about the 44-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker, and it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Meanwhile, Jones' throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Montgomery. And he are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown Charles their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Mahomes now on first down. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw complete there to Schuster. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Here's second and five now from the 22. Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. 
A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. On second down, they'll run it here. They'll get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the wall. Exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the deep. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. As his guys have now moved out in front. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that winds up a seven play drive all told, and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner's a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there. On the and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. The drive starts with a handoff to McKinnon. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. On first down, Mahomes. With no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. From the 24, Mahomes. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's going to take him down, sack back around the 18 yard line. Anthony Jennings able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could put you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Mahomes now to throw. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots. 
Blitzens are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm a little surprised by that call. Second and inches. It did what it was intended, but it felt like it was a free play waiting to happen. I thought they might take a shot. The throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. First and 10, it's strong. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line call it no gain on the keeper and it's going to bring up a third down well, look at this a tight end carry and he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26 so just four yards on the pickup but that's good enough to extend the drive now they'll switch it up here and look to throw throw is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Jones now on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The folks' kick is good. And they've got the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Single, 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 single. 
Mahomes going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it did not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. New England's offense set to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And this is the 10th carry for Ty Montgomery. And power running here down to the six-yard line. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Five plays there on that drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Mahomes now on first down. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Mahomes. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. That's a defense coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Now here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Yeah. 
He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs that better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go, or throw it to a target and get that pass away. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. Oh, Aguilar, what a catch. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. Back to throw. Jones. Open man to tight end Henry. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. the play fake Jones a fight for it and this is caught it's caught indeed give him 30 yards there well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half we've seen exhibits a b c and right on down the line out of it. yeah we just saw exhibit z right there there they are able to stop it take it all the way to the two. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. A run was strong. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From back at the four, here's second and goal. One more time with Strong. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Pierre Strong taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So a great second effort there as he's able to stay upright and get into the end zone. I think not just a second effort. I think a third effort was what got him in. Maybe possibly even a fourth. Yeah, whatever it was, he was not going to be denied. Now Folk for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Pierre Strong who finished things off for the touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw here. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now back to throw. He's got his man, Valdez. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Now the signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. From the 45 on second down. Mahomes got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. 
So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Butker now to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Going deep here for Parker. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. On second down, Montgomery. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Montgomery back to the ground. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 105 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the 50. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on the... And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And here comes a return just beyond the goal line. 
And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. His throw incomplete. I well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly what they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. On, we think, the punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 22. And his throw here is incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Looking to throw. Jones. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to a victim to it themselves. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Play action, Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. 134 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw, Jones. He completes it to Evans. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the goal gets tough in here. That he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set them back for second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. His throw caught right around the six. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Heavy set out there on third and one. Off the play fake, Jones. There's Henry, touchdown Patriots. Two yards on the touchdown there, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. For the extra point is Folk. And 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. That'll get them some of what they needed, but they're still left here with a third and nine forthcoming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 36. And a run on the inside handle. Time they run as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Shot here on the ground. And he'll take this one down to the 36. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. Working from the gun, Mahomes. There's a nice move. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. We'll give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Throwing Jones. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Throwing on second and long. Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. But look at that catch by Henry. And a nice job there defending. 
defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They go play action. Now Mahomes finds his man. It's Kelsey on the crossing route here. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Three yards remain for second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pick up on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things down. something that feels a little bit cheap but they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad and again it's Mahomes completes it to Hardman and he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line never make the mistake that the slot receivers especially the little guys like we're watching here are just quicker than fast a lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. They'll try and run with McKenna. Zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McCannon. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. From the six. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. there at a first down. Now those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, 
They can't score. Second and 11 now. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to get away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he's going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert, and that will keep the drive alive. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout, and I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold-up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours, and they certainly weren't kidding. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down, a spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And it's near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those masters. Jab off the guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On second down, a run was strong. And that'll move a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense. Bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Well, the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace the other offense are going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll drop to throw. to the reliable hands of Kelsey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Looking to throw his Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Back to throw again. territory now. Here's first and ten right at the 40. Again, he'll drop the throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. And they'll work this 
down inside the 30. Mahomes now on first down. Being chased out left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Working with a second and three. Mahomes now the throw. The kicker here is complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Mahomes finding his burner Hardman for the KC first. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. That protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing the second and a bundle. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Should be backed up to the 25. Now they got to get to the line quick. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now. You're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away. And that's caught. The touchdown, Kansas City. Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs get a bit closer. Extra point by Baker is on target. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that one a long 11-play drive. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Give. This is Montgomery. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15 yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ty Montgomery with his second touchdown. Patriots are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand. Who cares? Let's make out here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Matt Judon. His second sack of the night. 
Well, this was a fun one today. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles E's defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. for us for Charles Davis and all our crew I'm Brandon Gordon you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports the Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough